This is Death Call Blaze and Sneaker5580. And we're going to show you a tutorial on how to put the game exploits on your Xbox. Um, yeah, so let's get started. Okay, Death Call Blaze, go, please. This is going to be a step by step on how we got the Sandisk Cruiser ready for our Xbox soft launch. Be sure to check the your if your USB drive is compatible with the compatible uh, compatibility list uh, in the description. Okay, so yeah. Let's get um, started. Yeah. First what you want to do is get action replay Xbox and turn it on. Um in the description you'll be able to see where you can get uh, the files. It's beside the part where it says X X whatever. You have to go to another site and then you will find us. And these two are our um game face. Yeah, game exploits or game face, same thing. Uh the game face will be in the download package which is included in the description. The one we're gonna use is the uh, is the uh, spoiler cell game exploit. Uh, yeah, you can. The other ones are included in the package too. And this one is the Linux. I mean, no. Um, yeah, Linux. Or spoiler cell. Linux installer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, what you wanna do first? It's really easy. It's really, really simple. Hold. Hold, drag. Now wait for the action replay. There you go, it's on. And do the same thing to the other one. Make sure they're still in their um, zip or RAR file. If you extract them, they will not work. Now, what you want to do now is uh, convert your USB device to FAT32 and not any other. After you have completed uh, converting your uh, USB to FAT32, you um, will have to open your USB view, which is in the package I included. So I will go to my documents, blah, 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 blah. Let me just go to the settings. So here's the package I included as DP as a soft mod installer and um, action replay and USB view so you wanna sorry yeah. okay so you wanna open um, USB view okay so I'm not really gonna do this but what you're gonna do is find out where uh, find a device that's connected like example like so um Find where your USB is connected. That's all I'm gonna say. Like if you the what USB you can uh, using is connected, find it right here. Like what a uh, tip I will say is um take it out, uh, refresh, and make sure it's still no device connected, and then put it in and then refresh and make sure it's no device connected. That way you can find which one's yours. Um yeah, so you're gonna have to copy two things, which is ID vendor and ID product. Next, what you're gonna do is, um, I think you already installed AR, or if not, um, you should install it. It's in the package, which is in the description. You go into uh, computer. Um, hello, it's loading up. All right, into local disk or wherever you install your program. Program files. Now, what you go into is Beto Action Replay Xbox driver and what you want to click is X reader uh, this one not the X Y S uh, uh, extension thing uh, click it 
it should open up with notepad or not if not you could go here um open with um cursor whatever um scroll um and find the place where this device is right here um it says devices here um as you can see it says d i d and um ID over here. You want to focus on the the last four digits or whatever. You want to focus on those. For the VID, okay, you listen very ca careful now. For the VID, you go into USB V. You look at the ID vendor. Copy the last four numbers. change them for VID and you do the same thing for PID except you copy the ID product as soon as you've done this you don't want to mess with any of the other lines just don't it's very very dangerous as I just said okay now you save this, well I'm not because um, it's a different device, I already did one, you save it, you could just save it now but I'm not. Um, then you close everything and now what you want to do is go to your drive, take it out of your computer and um, put it into your USB to Xbox cable and put it into your Xbox. There will be a separate tutorial on how to make your USB to Xbox cable. When you put it in, go to uh, memory on your Xbox. I'm not going to show this because mine's already done and it's not that it's not compatible. You go into memory, and it should say uh, it should show something. Uh, it's not working. Something. This is normal. Don't don't just scare people. After this, you should do two drives: your Xbox drive and your uh, and your hard drive. After that, that means it has been converted to fast. Take your drive out of the Xbox to USB cable and put it back to your computer. Control panel. I know this is very fast, it's kind of complicated. Go to device manager. Close this. Now, device manager is loading up. And find your hard drive, the one you use. Uh, it's probably on the universal zero bus USB master device. If you have if you have more than one USB that I put on, uh, put it on. Make sure you choose the right one. Press update driver software and press this. Since I already did the hack, I'm not gonna do this. So I'll let this. After that's done, it should blink and say that there's a memory card. After it starts blinking, whatever, yeah, it should show up. What you're gonna do is, uh, you close your Google Drive and drop. Then you drop both of them, like this, and drop. I'm not gonna do it since I know I installed it, whatever, it's not blinking, it's not gonna work. Um, it might take some time. Uh, this is, uh, it'll show how much is done for each of them, like, when you do this first, go like blah 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 here, then you do this one, blah blah blah, mm -hmm. And that's just all you need to do. And just follow the sophomore tutorial, which is already up. And you're on your way to installing all these extra LOS and happy next. Thank you, this is Sneaker418.